Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today playing Penny Racers. Now, I did do a stream on this game and unfortunately, for whatever reason, I don't know if my save file, uh, my memory card on the old PS2 got a bit funky. Either way, it didn't save. So unfortunately, all of the stuff that I had, we no longer have. So we're gonna, <laughs> gonna start again. Um, now this is, if you watch my earlier videos on Road Trip Adventure, Gadget Racers, this is part of that kind of series. I believe this is a little bit of an earlier one. This is not an open world game, however it has got all of the cool stuff that you would expect. So, the uh, really rather interesting looking uh, toy cars that you can go racing with. Now this is just to select the body style to start with. Uh, you will get to more interesting and different vehicles as we go along. Uh, last time we started with a pink Yaris, so this time we're going to start with a bus. Because why not? Oh, and you get to name your vehicles as well if you so choose. So we shall, we shall use the same name for our bus. We shall call it Speed. Uh, <laughs> not that that is foreboding or anything. And there we go. We are in. Now... One of the really interesting ways that this game does with the with the vehicles is essentially your vehicle kind of says that the bodies can change on the vehicle. You've got various different bits and pieces that you can add on to the vehicle, but you're kind of working with the same same stuff overall. So the body changes. It's not like we're, we're just racing with a body shell, much like with a remote control car, for example, uh, that we happen to have a bus. Uh, it just doesn't make any difference. You've got all these different components that you can uh, swap out as you go, and there's a lot of special parts, which we will hopefully get to experience a little bit of. We've got a thousand money to start with. The first thing that we are going to do, first very important thing that we are going to do is to change our gearbox so we are going to want we, well you want as many gears as you can essentially the way this game works the gearbox kind of determines your top speed uh, there's a couple of other things as well that can help out while the engine and power stuff uh, determines your acceleration so how quick you get to that top speed uh, and top speed is, is basically the be all and end all of uh, of all of this as we will very quickly find out so yeah, we'll go and jump into the first race. Now, there are a bunch of, I guess you could say, like, well, there's the Grand Prix, the sort of the tournaments that you can go through. We're going to stick with just the, uh, the sprint races, just sort of one-off races. Now, our first event, I and mean, this is basically a easy introduction to everything. Easy, <laughs> easy introduction into the... <clears throat> into the races. Uh, our bus should do pretty well fingers crossed it should it should be it should be capable of uh, you know winning and everything oh i forgot i did the i did the classic dumb thing of i bought a new part and then forgot to install the new part because it doesn't automatically install it this is when you will see how important having that uh, extra top speed is uh, the ai cars they will get modified as they go along uh, this is you know it is a very very straightforward opening race i'm hoping that the ai cars are going to bump each other into oblivion uh, come on, bump each other into oblivion, because we're all basically stuck at 178 kilometers an hour. I mean, this is a very, very fast bus. Uh, oh, I'm trying to squeeze past on the inside. It's not going to work. Like, okay, so it's, it's been... I was trying to try to take out somebody. Okay, that's that's been a terrible, terrible race, because I'm a moron. I will eventually... One day, I will eventually remember that you need to... Uh, that you need to actually add on the parts that you went and brought from the shop. Uh, there is also other sort of various restrictions, special events, and so on. There's a lot of a lot of races, even from the very short bit of the game that I have played. I can already see there's a lot of different content, a lot of different races to be doing. Right there we go. Let's get the proper proper gearbox in. And then we should fly, then we should easily be the quickest vehicle on the field, and then we will earn some money, and then we can spend said money on making our vehicle a little bit better, so that we can then go and take on the next race, and then so on and so on and so forth. Now the kind of career championship stuff will have various restrictions on how many gears you can have, what sort of engines you can have, what sort of size engine you can have, and so on to kind of make it a little bit on the, well, on the more challenging side. I mean, if you've if you've played any of the uh, kind of gadget racers, oh, that's not, that's gear up. Uh, 
found, I found gear up button. Uh, yeah, if you've, if you've played any of the gadget races and so on, Road Trip Adventure and so on, you know how it's going to handle. It is very arcadey, and if the cars lose grip, things go very weird. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to experience that here, but if you run out of grip, you kind of, you really, really run out of grip, and you just sort of skid across the road. Up until that point, though, I mean, the things are very easy to throw around. They're very responsive. Although, of course, this will change. In fact, you kind of see it lost grip there. Just a little bit as we came across the finish line. Uh, yeah, you can change direction pretty well. Uh, the more you upgrade your vehicle... I mean, this is all about upgrading your vehicle and building your vehicles to suit the various events. And uh, that's a very, very important part of it all. And the upgrades are not just, you know, a case of pick the right tyres. As we will... As we will very quickly see, the upgrades are about a lot more than, you know, just picking tyres, etc. Right, things that we're going to need. So if we're going to go into this into this next race, we are going to be wanting to have... We're going to want a better engine. Now, we could go for the full-on engine down here, 2.8 turbo. It's, it's good, but I'm going to want to save... Or we're going to want to spend more money in other areas. So we're going to go for the... 2.3 NA engine, not worried about the chassis at the moment. Uh, we're going to go for we'll go for some grip tyres in this, and uh, do we go for, where well, we go for some quick steering? I think that gives us 200 money, uh, we can't buy, so as you can see here when we start getting on to, uh, <laughs> on to upgrades, yes, you can have propellers, you can have a mighty wing, yes, you can also have actual wing wings. We'll get those soon. Uh, this shop over... you get more shops as you go through to unlock better parts. Uh, this shop will give you the different sort of body shells for your car. Uh, they don't actually make any difference to the vehicle's performance. This is just for personal personal taste, if you like. Um, they... yeah, they, they range from all sorts of, you know, iconic sports cars like an RX-7. Um, 300ZX, you've got various... It's actually a really... I mean, if you take the body shells as cars, it's actually a really interesting car list. All sorts of weird and wonderful things. I love the teeny tiny Viper with the world's smallest side exit exhausts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different body styles. And it goes up to race cars, like full-on... I think it was a Jaguar? Um, LMP race car sort of thing. So... Yeah, there there is some some very interesting sorts of of body styles. I, li I like this way of doing kind of an arcade racer, having kind of a base car and then you swap out the body on top of everything else. It's quite an interesting way of uh, of doing things. Right, so we stick quick steering on that grip tires, but uh, that's all good. Okay, and then we unfortunately there's no there's quick ways up every single menu apart from the uh, customizing your vehicle. Oh, in, in terms of other interesting. Things. It will go, go have a look at some of the upgrading bits, because I'm not going to be able to afford all of them today. Uh, so, <laughs> you can paint the vehicle. Uh, it's not sort of a custom paint. However, uh, you, you can paint the, the body and the wheel separately. Uh, one of the interesting things, though, here... Okay, so it's fairly cheap to do a lot of these. There are some special paints. Each vehicle has a racing version, which... <laughs> yes, even the bus has a racing version, which is really cool. Give them sort of a special livery. Uh, there is also kind of like... Well, that would be shiny car. The bus actually isn't great for showing you this because, uh, yeah, there's actually not much of it gets painted. Don't, the white bits of the bus never get painted, but you can have it kind of copper or silver or gold. They're more expensive, but yeah, so there's painting customization. There is also, so when you go into the tuning shop, you can tune up the body. Uh, is this what I, right, okay, so you can tune up the body. So you can make the vehicle into a... So off-road tune turns it into a monster truck style thing, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure what on-road and final tune do to it, but basically this kind of helps tune up everything overall. Uh, you can also, very interestingly, uh, change the driveline, but you can change it to whatever you like. So <laughs> you can have a mid-engine rear-wheel drive people carrier if you wish. You could go for a four-wheel drive bus. You can, and yeah, you can do this to to I say to every vehicle because you're changing the underneath of it, whatever body shell you put on top is going to be whatever whatever it goes for. It doesn't make a massive difference, of course, in this. Uh, you can also tune up the specialist parts, like the gliders, the floats, the propellers, the skis and whatnot. Uh, yeah, there are skis for a car, because one of the tracks takes place in snow, and skis are quite useful in snow. Pretty useless everywhere else, of course, but pretty useful when it gets to snow. Oh, well, I'm not sure we're quite going to have enough speed uh, to do to win this next race. Now, you don't have to win to, I guess, kind of progress. If you win all of these events down here, you will 
unlock a special body style. I believe it was the Starion uh, that you get, a Starion with race paint on it that's, uh, that you get. Uh, these races are kind of more about making money to upgrade your vehicles so you can be competitive in, uh, in other stuff. Oh, we are off and underway. Our new engine will be working wonders for us. And then we go and sit at the... Uh, <laughs> 200 and we get from 0 to 217 kilometers an hour alarmingly fast i mean the speed is a little bit we don't pay too much attention because it's kind of silly uh, <laughs> we don't pay too much attention to the speed because it, it doesn't really make too much sense if you think about it for any length of time actually doing pretty well in this i am pleased to see there will be one unless they've got stuck in traffic which they sometimes do so the AIs will yeah, have varying degrees of modifications on their car, and especially when it comes to some of the more, like, this is just a straightforward race, but when it comes to some of the more specific events, some of those, right, we are now starting to get caught. I don't know whether we're going to be able to fend off that car, because he's got a slightly high top speed. There goes the Hummer. The, hum, the Humvee, for whatever reason, is monstrously fast in this particular event. Now, we might be able to, no, we can't cheese it. I was going to try and cheese it and bump into him and uh, give him some grief, but there was no... <laughs> there was. There was no choosing it for us. So yeah, I mean, he's got uh, just a better vehicle in terms of it of that top end speed. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I tried. I tried to block. We've got to get a second though, and that's still, you know, that's still okay. The Humvee's crashed into something because that's going to have given us a decent amount of points. Now that circuit doesn't actually really suit me because it's just flat out near enough the entire way around, especially when you've got grippier tires and so on. Uh, much easier now. You've got. I've got the uh, the grippier tires. That still got us a sizable amount of money uh, we can go for uh, sure we'll head here uh, 600 gold for the winner now this circuit is it will always tell you what sort of percentage of, of tarmac and off-road so you can choose to try and specialize on a section in fact we have got a race car turning up here there is a Jaguar uh, turning up in uh, this one you can choose whether you want to, you know, focus on I mean, off-road on one where it's sort of this percentage, perhaps not, you know, particularly particularly useful. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, I want more quarters because the AI's better top speed than me won't. Uh I won't be as bad on a uh, circuit with more corners because I can be better around these turns. Uh, yeah, for the little dirt section, my tyres aren't great. There will probably be an AI car that's running on off-road tyres that'll be really, really quick through there. However, uh, you're not going to want to be compromised I wouldn't have thought for the rest of that. I certainly wouldn't be running it with the uh, with the old uh, off-road tyres through here. <laughs> this track, though, does have... While it tells you the percentage of on-road and off-road, what it doesn't tell you is the percentage of water. Yes, there is a uh, water section here. Now, this is where the floats, where the propellers all come in very, very useful. Now, if you don't have those, it doesn't immediately put your vehicle out of the race. You know, you're not completely finished because you don't have the special equipment. And in this kind of beginner championship, uh, <laughs> the uh, AI vehicles, it's safe to say, they are not massively intelligent. Also, don't really, don't mind too much about the horrible buzz that's going on because we are just sort of sat at the limiter. Yeah, it's... It's just the way things things work a little bit. We won't. Well, we can get a little bit far. There are ways. There are ways to get a little bit faster, even though we can't get the gearbox upgraded. Uh, there is like a CPU. Is something you can put in the vehicles again that will give you that top speed stat. Basically, top speed is most important. Handling can be a little bit. I think is is the. Oh, have I managed to get that turn right? Not as well as we did the first time. Uh, top top speed is all important handling or certainly having the right tyres for the right terrain is quite useful. Uh, we we had the right tyres for the right terrain. We managed to somehow get through the submarine. In fact, this is going to be a stupidly easy victory for the bus. Voila! That is plenty of money. I've Again, having having played through this, I'm kind of slightly annoyed I couldn't carry on that the save managed to get messed up. Um, because, yeah, having, having kind of played through the early stuff, I roughly know what I'm doing in terms... I say rough, very roughly know what I'm doing in terms of the of the upgrades. Uh, so that was actually not massively competitive. Uh, we got 600 of the gold right there. That's, that's nice. Where are we going to next? We are going to the desert. So probably going to want some off-road tyres for that. And then you go and buy some new some new parts. Uh, not being an open world game, uh, 
I don't mind so much. There'll be those that will much prefer, you know, road trip adventure or gadget races and so on for having that open world exploring. I quite like... I, mean, I, I think this works. Not every game has to be open world to, to work, to be fun and so on. And I think this... You know, you've got your menus, you've got your different shops and whatnot, and then you can just go jump into a race. That's okay. You know, that works. That works for me. Uh, ooh, off-road tires are a little expensive, but we're going to need them at some point. And how much is those? Okay, we can't afford one of them yet. Uh, we can't really do too much more with our money, so I guess we'll just stick the off-road tires on it, go and race around the desert. Uh, the AI cars will probably be getting faster each round, if I remember correctly. Uh, we'll probably also have to get ready with... I say get ready. We will need some wings at some point. There's one particular race where having wings is very... If you're going to win, you're going to have to be using wings to actually get across a certain bit of the circuit. You, as I said, you can still run... You can still complete the race having not done... Uh, having having not... Is this one here? There's a little jump that uh, yeah, you can save a lot of time by being able to, uh, to fly. Uh, desert. We should actually be pretty good here. Uh... You will notice, pay attention to uh, the AI cars that don't get moving. AI cars that don't get moving here, uh, you will know are the ones that are uh, running on the uh, the road tyres of some description. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there's a couple there. Oh, one of the cars at the front didn't. The BMW has got off okay. The Jaguar has also got off okay. Unfortunately, there's no real look behind button, which does make my life a little bit more difficult. No, Jaguar, come back. Unfortunately, again, here, there is not enough twists and turns. There is not enough corners for my lack of straight line speed to be, uh, well, kind of, yeah, sort of recuperate. Not at all. I like the other circuit. The other circuit was fun. Uh, <laughs> Around here, we're just a painfully slow bus who's slightly brushed a wall. And well, thankfully, our acceleration was pretty good, so we can be a painfully slow bus that is still ahead of the rest of the field. And there's a little bit of a water section for us here. I'm trying to... I, I learned that if you hug that outside wall, that's you, you don't go into the deep water. You get through it quickest. We've actually made a little bit of ground on the Jag. Won't really matter too much. Uh... <laughs> The Jag will bugger off into the distance again, just because it can do, well, probably doing 250 kilometers an hour. Yeah, for the first couple of times. I mean, the way this game is, is set up, it expects you to redo these races a few times to, you know, to earn some money to be able to upgrade your car. Uh, I would perhaps prefer a game that didn't force you to grind out the same races. Thankfully, though, the money is fairly decent, and the kind of the, the upgrades are fun. The money's fairly decent, and the races are pretty damn short. Uh, of course, yeah, I wouldn't be using this one to be trying to get the money because, well, we're only going to be getting second place, and we also actually don't get too bad of money for second either. I do think, from what I saw, uh, that once you've won a race, the prize money for redoing that race goes down. So if you want to be a real sneaky bugger and uh, just grind out the same race over and over again, you might actually not be bad off just coming second every time because you still get a decent amount of money uh, rather than like second in a race that you haven't won is probably worth more than first in a race that you have won previously. I think, although I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that is the way that it, uh, that it works. So yeah, there are some sneaky tactics as we will uh, get a second place. I'm, that, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm alright with the second. Uh, there is another off-road one that we can do that we won't need wings for, that we can potentially use to try and earn some more money. Uh, there's a nice snowy one for us to deal with. Yeah, we've still got 400, 400 gold, 400 G from that, so we won't go there until we've got some wings. Uh, and even with wings, there's no guarantee we're actually going to be massively quick there. Here, snow and ice. Now, the skis, if we had them, would give us an advantage. I think in turning, it'll help us get around the corners. Uh, however... I think our off-road tires are good enough. There might be some AI cars with skis. There are some that have got like little winglets going on at the side of them. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There's a Renault 5 on some skis. It's not very often that you get to say that one. However, there is a Renault 5 with some with some skis. The Renault 5 got off to a, a blistering start up there. Uh, perhaps the skis held with its sort of traction on the real the real icy slippy bits. 
Uh, you can kind of tell whether you're on ice or on snow with... Uh, oh, there's, do they kill us if they land on us? Or I don't know. Probably. Probably. You're going to try to go up there. You know what? Go for... Ah, okay, so you can kind of skip out this uh, icy bit. Uh, we're going to stay on the icy for as long as we can because now we're going to go sink. So you have a choice in this one, and I imagine as the circuits get more technical, as the circuits get longer as you go into the later stages. Uh, so you can only have one add-on in each slot. So front, back, sides, uh, top and top rear. So top rear is essentially spoiler. Uh, you, you can only have one add-on, which means here, for example, because there's a mixture of water, you can go for the floats to try and keep your vehicle above the water, or you could go for the skis to give your vehicle the whoop, the the edge when it comes to steering on the on the snow. So yeah, like how you build the vehicle for the for the events, what extra weird bits you stick on the cars uh, will have an impact as to how your race goes. Again, at this stage. Off-road tyres is about all I need when I've got when I've got enough corners for the AI's better top speed at the moment. I'm I'm okay. You know what? Let's go for a little bit of a jump, just, just a smidge, just a smidge bit of a jump, and then we use the sneaky tactic of stay on the ice for as long as possible because you don't want to go into the water. And down we go. Uh, it's fine. It's perfectly normal for buses to be able to do this to just sink to the bottom and do about 70 miles an hour. Uh, underwater. There, there's a special ability. Very few people know about it. Uh, if you have a bus, I recommend you give it a try. Uh, <laughs> they are actually they actually make excellent submarines. They, they really do. Uh, it's a special built-in failsafe in case anything goes wrong. And then we have some very bright purple snow for whatever reason. And in these giant pits of doom that uh, we're going to try and avoid. We didn't avoid that one. We, we bounce. Uh, bouncing physics when you go over jumps is a little bit curious. It, it has been in all of these games. I mean, in, in terms of a <laughs> In, in terms of a realistic racing experience, you ain't going to find it here, but we're also racing toy cars with wings on it, so don't expect it. After a little while, you get the hang of how the cars drive, and they're very good fun. The first few races will be a bit weird. Like, I'm <laughs> making it look kind of a little bit easy at the moment, because I've got my vehicle set up properly for all of this, uh, which does make life, you know, a damn sight easier for me, uh, and I do vaguely, vaguely, vaguely know what I am doing. Uh, okay, so we've got near enough two grand. We are probably going to want to. Do we want to get the wings? Potentially, yes, I think. I, I think a bus with wings is the way to go. If ever I, <laughs> if if ever I, if ever I saw it, and it's very useful for events. So we go on to the top wings. Oh, it's only five hundred. There's a thousand for the wings. Never mind. Wings of Apollo. Uh, thank you very much. That is 500 gold. The... Ah, oh, I don't think we can't get the good CPU, so we won't waste our money until we can get that. Um, there's no real point. I don't actually quite know what the coin holds. What does the coin... Oh, gave us better defense, I guess. Potentially. I think some of the tournaments you can take damage to your vehicle, to your chassis and so on. Um, not going to be needed for this. There you go, your skis and your, uh, floats if needed. No, we'll just stick with getting the wings. Now, this probably won't be enough for us to win. I'd be very surprised if this was enough for us to... Uh, enough for us to win, but... You never know. At the end of the day, you never know. I could probably do with better brakes as well, let's be honest. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. So, <laughs> Wings of Apollo are on our bus. It is the maddest contraption you ever did see. Uh, so it's not it's not the maddest contraption. There are some really great body shells. Uh, some really there's the Messerschmitt bubble car that looks utterly incredible. Um, there is all sorts of yeah, the sorts of race vehicles. There's some rally vehicles. I think there was a rally Evo in that snow race we just did that started on pole. Uh, not that you really get to see for very long before all chaos kicks off. Oh, probably want to take the off-road tires off as well. Don't we? Important thing. Yeah, if you drive... The off-road tyres on-road aren't completely garbage, but they aren't great. You're going to have just less grip going around the corner, which means you're more likely to uh, hit the sort of everything slide across the track stage. Probably do with better brakes, actually, for... Yeah, I think this, uh, this circuit's got a horrible little spiral that we're going to come across. And the better brakes might not be a bad idea for a couple of places, but we will see. Uh, this might be quicker going back around this way to... Nope. I don't think we will. I think it was probably even. Right, so 700... Okay, just out of curiosity here. 700 gold for finishing first. One that we've already won, which would be here. 
It's now only 300 gold. I don't think we've got as much gold for winning this. I think it was about being 600 gold for winning this. So yeah, you you get diminishing returns a little bit, which is why sometimes your second place here is 500. So if you keep getting second places here, it's actually better than winning. It's a little bit of a strange way, but it also works in terms of, you know, if you're going to be grinding races to get money and so on, it encourages you to go for that little bit tougher race rather than just doing the same one over and over again. Uh, it encourages you to go for perhaps that little tougher race to uh, yeah try try and win the try and win the money. I think of all the games I've played that uh, are going to force you a little bit into I say to force you into it. I don't think this is as bad as perhaps Road Trip Adventure in some ways for uh, making you have to grind out races and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it, it kind of it works okay for me. Like I'm I'm not too. I'm not too bothered about having to go back and, and rerun races. It helps that the races are very good fun. To uh, oh, there goes that skidding thing. We found traction just about uh, dangerously close to the end. I will say uh, the, the the Grand Prix, the sort of full-on championships, are a little bit uh, arsy as you all. Oh, okay, this is where our tyres might not quite be good enough, or I might not be quite driving well enough. The championships are a little bit arsy in that the AIs, from from my experience of one of them, the AI in second will guarantee to come second, and if you make any mistake, uh, then they will get second. They'll get second to all of your firsts, and if you screw up, they will then get a first, and then you'll probably be done for in terms of a championship. It's a little bit of a pain, and it might just have been bad luck that I had, but I, it generally it does look like on the most part, uh, AIs are going to do that, which... Yeah, it's one of those pet hates I have with racing games that do championships modes. Uh, you've, you've got, you want to have a little bit more spread out, and you would, you know, you would naturally have a little bit more spread out uh, race. Even the most dominant times in Formula One, there was a little, little more variation. Hell, if it was just a car failure at some point, somebody would have a DNF. So, yeah, it's a little bit irritating that. Um, However, kind of to be expected, racing games of this age tend to have done that. For hell, racing games these days still manage to cock that up quite a lot. Uh, we are running a lot, where you, you can see why, and you can also see why wings are needed here. Uh, you can see the cars that didn't have wings and how they are uh, struggling about. I think if you don't have wings here, you just fall down and have to go and loop your way through the uh, circuit the long way, uh, which you're never going to be able to win unless you have like a utterly monstrous car. Now, I've got to try and get around it. This is a surprisingly... Okay, we are going to be flat out, but this is a surprisingly difficult bit because if I steer for turning too hard, we just get the wheel skidding thing, and that loses you so much time once it started skidding. Uh, are we going to have a... Yep, yeah, we're going to have a nice little flight across here. The wings are automatic. I have no control over when they deploy. Oh, no, we pinged off of that at a really bad angle. Come on, bus. Come on, bus. You can do it. You can make it. I think we are actually going to be far enough ahead of the... I would imagine Lancia tends to be the race car. Ooh, it's going to be actually really close between us and I think the Lancia. Tends to be the race cars that will run away, although not all the time. Some Sometimes you get other ones that are uh, surprisingly rapid. This is the bounciest bus. <laughs> this is the bounciest bus you ever did see. And that's a final corner. No, don't do that there. God damn it. Oh... <laughs> That nearly went very badly wrong. It was the Lancia that uh, came home in second. That was, again, I mean, I led the entire race through that one. That was a little bit more of a tense one. They were pretty even in terms of lap time. I just got the better launch and got out ahead. And there we go. That's another 700, 700 gold for us. We're up to 2,000 gold. Things have gone uh, pretty damn well. I, I kind of roughly know what I'm doing now, which is uh, making life easier at this stage of the game. But yeah, you get the idea. You get the idea of, of Penny Racers. I, I love this series of games. It's such a shame that there isn't a modern... A ver I'd love to see a modern... I say remake, I'd just love to see another modern version of this kind of racing. Sort of fun, arcadey toy car racing with a fantastic fantastic custom shop. Like it, it really is. There's a lot of stuff that you can change around with on here. We've only just got into the beginning stuff, but I, I love that it's wacky customization as well. Yeah, the drivetrain thing's quite fun, being able to move the engine and so on, but being able to have propellers, being able to have uh, floats turning it into a boat and so on. It's always been the appeal of uh, of these games. You get tiny little toy cars, models, 
okay, we've been messing around with the bus, but a lot of them are vehicles that you recognise, that you know, that you can then add wings and floats and propellers and all sorts of silliness onto them. It makes for a, uh, yeah... <laughs> Really, rather good game. I do. If you haven't played one of these one of these games um, before, I, I would perhaps recommend Penny Races as a place to start. I think it's the most easily accessible. Not being set in an open world, this is kind of a more out and out racer, customized car race again, and so on, rather than Road Trip Adventure Gadget Races that was kind of more of a exploratory uh, game. All very, very good games. All very highly recommended by me. Uh, <laughs> but I think this might be the easiest way into it. I, yeah, really quite like Penny Races, apart from when it screws you over in a championship. That bit is not fun. Uh, that, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.